um, I set up my company, I Like Cake Limited, uh, nine years ago in 2005. We specialise in making accessible websites and we also do audits for other companies who want to make sure that their websites were, are accessible. I suppose when people think of disabilities and accessibility, the, the most common one that would come to mind first would be blindness. Now obviously there's various different types of blindness. There's um, people who are, are completely visually impaired who, who have no sight at all or very limited the issue of people who are possibly colour blind as well. So one of the things that we would do is when we make a template and when we come up with a design for a client, we will run it through a checker, um, which simulates what somebody with the various different types of colour blindness would see. Now there's two main types of colour blindness, I suppose there's red, green, and then there's blue, yellow. And there's different flavours of those. So there's protonopia, deuteranopia, and tritonopia. Um, Protonopics tend not to be able to see any red, so the, the sites tend to be quite bluey, greeny kind of coloured. Um, and then if you're tritonopic, you tend to see everything in shades of pink. So um, the, the, when you translate the designs through, they come out quite rosy coloured. So apart from people with visual uh, problems, there's also people who have obviously hearing problems. Um, probably not so much of an issue with web, unless you obviously have audio or video on the site. Actually, one of the websites that we're working on at the moment has a series of videos, seven videos. And one of the things we're doing for the, the client is we're creating um, captions um, for the YouTube videos. So we have a text transcript of the script with the, the text of the actors on, on the screen. Um, we also then would create, and so apart from having the closed captions within the video, we would also have a text transcript file. So if somebody either can't or chooses not to watch the video, they can still download um, a PDF file or a Word file and access the content of the text of the video in that format, which may suit them better. And we would also include into the transcript some descriptions about what was happening on the video at the time. Um, I suppose other problems that might arise from a user's point of view would be with cognitive disabilities. So people with cognitive disabilities might find it difficult, for example, to read long words, long sentences, multi-clause sentences. So generally we would advise um, our content writers uh, to keep it short and simple. So short sentences, uh, short words rather than long words. So use single syllable words or double syllable words in preference to three or four syllables. Uh, words. So you might use, for example, places to stay instead of accommodation. That's just a very simple example. Um, we would also possibly run the content through uh, a website called Juicy Studio would be the one that I would normally use, Juicy Studio Readability. And what that does is it gives you um, a reading ease level. So it tells you in percentage terms how easy the website is to read. And you're aiming for um, levels in the area of about 60 to 70 percent. And then you know that your website is going to be readable by the majority of the population. So if you're interested in finding out any more about accessibility, we do have some content on our own website. You can read up a little bit more about it. We do reference the legal structures that are required for it to have an accessible website. So it falls under Irish, Irish law and EU legislation. So you can read some more about that there. Um, and obviously if you're interested in an accessible website or you're interested in getting an audit done for an accessible website, you can contact us um, through our website. It's www.ilikecake.ie. Thank you.